Right, so this video is going to cover the Active Q window. Uh, the Active Q window is where we do basic editing uh, inside the Ovation. Uh, when you will look at advanced editing and editing with Pyramix, uh, we'll look at that in another video marked advanced editing with Pyramix, for obvious reasons. Um, right, so the Active Q window is another window which we can find uh, in the View dropdown, uh, and we can lock it just like we can in uh, with any other type of window in Ovation. Once we click on a queue, it appears in the active queue window, and from there we can start to edit it. So we've got trim function, fade function in the front, and likewise a trim and a fade function in the back. Yeah, we can play the piece of audio, or we can also PFL the uh, piece of audio. PFL obviously will play through the audition bus, which we've been shown how to uh, set that up in another one of the videos, Mark. Show setup. So uh, again, we can do that here. Fine. So once we're in the active queue window, we can then move around the queue itself by simply clicking and then dragging left and right to move left and right, or up and down to zoom in and out. So zooms happen here, and we can get down right down to the sample if we want. So within the active queue window, we can then set start time. So we start at fine. We can set a little fade at the beginning there as well. Um, we can also then do gains. It's a little bit uh, loud possibly. So while I'm playing back, That's a bit easier to deal with there. So now that I've got that set up, um, the other thing that I can do inside my active queue window is I can start to set markers. So when I'm playing back, anywhere I want to, I can then just say, add a marker, add a marker, add a marker, add a marker. Now these markers can be set up to uh, anywhere, we can just slide them along, and like we show in an interaction rules video, we can then assign interaction rules for the markers to allow them to loop the queue or fire other queues when, when they're being used. Um, so the view in the active queue window can be nice during setup, but it can also be nice during show mode. For instance, if I've got a long piece of music running, it's kind of nice to be able to see the whole thing running while I'm actually... Um, working on the rest of the project or while I'm playing just to see it's a, it's a sort of it's a it's a safety as to whether or not I'm you know when I'm playing the audio how much is left so on and so forth um, to that effect some of the cues we go to we might not want to see so for instance I've got this main bit of audio playing back but these little nested cues I'm not overly concerned about seeing them so what I can do is I can use this thing called cue pinning and when I pin the cue you can see up in the top here that this top cue has been pinned uh, by default, all audio cues are pinned, but we can unpin them very easily, or pin them or unpin them, by simply just clicking here and saying pin or unpin to active queue window, and then it's pinned in. Now, I'll unpin this one, and we can see what happens. So I'm going to click on this one, but then I'm going to move down the queue list, and you can see that my view stays exactly where it's meant to be. And the only time it's going to switch is when I move to my next pinned queue. Likewise, uh, we can also use what's called queue lock, and that will actually physically lock a single queue to the active queue window, regardless of where we move in the queues. Uh, and this can be this is independent of queue list as well. So we can move to other queue lists here, and nothing changes because they're obviously not uh, it's not locked. So there's the active queue window, nice and simple. Uh, we'll last little bits and pieces here. We've got a click to zoom and click to zoom out and a nice fit in window option as well but other than that there you go have a play and uh if you like i said if you want to look at the advanced editing have a peek at the video marked uh, advanced editing with pyramix thanks very much